now invite Neeta to provide an overview of the outstanding work done by Reliance Foundation. Thank you, Mukesh. Esteemed shareholders and my dear Reliance family, Namaskar. I hope each one of you and your families are doing well. As always, it's a joy and privilege to stand before you and reflect on the incredible journey that we have undertaken together. This journey is fueled by our shared commitment to growth, to innovation, and most importantly, to uplifting the lives of millions across our nation. We have continued to make progress on all our programs. And today, I would like to highlight a few key focus areas of our work at Reliance Foundation. Before I begin, let's congratulate the Indian athletes who represented our country at the Paris Olympics 2024. Beyond records and medals, I'm moved by the stories of resilience, dedication, and hard work. They embody the indomitable spirit of India, a spirit that rises against all odds and refuses to give up. As corporates, as citizens, and as parents, we all must play our part in safeguarding, encouraging, and empowering this young spirit of India. That is our collective responsibility towards nation building. Greatness in any field is not achieved overnight. It is earned and built one day at a time. Let me begin with our mission in sport. It is our stated goal to make India a truly global sporting powerhouse. In pursuit of this goal, our focus has been to build a robust sporting ecosystem that supports our athletes right from grassroots to glory at the highest levels. It is imperative that we start training our children young. We need a movement to ensure that every child in our country has the right to sport along with the right to education. Led by my son Akash, our Education and Sports for All program has so far reached out to nearly 23 million youngsters across multiple sports all over India. Through our various initiatives like Reliance Foundation Youth Sports and Young Champs, we are scouting and nurturing girls and boys from a young age to compete at school, college and district level competitions in all sports. At our high performances in Maharashtra, Odisha, and towards realizing our shared dream of bringing the Olympics to India. In October 2023, we successfully hosted the 141st IOC session in Mumbai, marking the return of the Olympic movement to India after a gap of 40 years. At that historic session, our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Bhai Modi ji, declared India's ambition to host the 2030 Youth Olympics and the 2036 Summer Olympics. Also, in a landmark decision at that session, cricket was included as an Olympic sport for the 2028 Summer Games in Los Angeles. As a member of the International Olympic Committee, I am humbled to say that we have taken our first step towards fulfilling India's Olympic aspirations. We are committed to working with like-minded organizations to support the Prime Minister's vision and realize this shared dream of 1.4 billion Indians. Through our work with the International Olympic Committee's Let's Move campaign and the Olympic Values Education Program, we work round the year to spread Olympic values and ideals, aiming to reach lakhs of children and thousands of teachers in the coming year. At the Paris Olympics this year, Reliance Foundation, in partnership with the Indian Olympic Association, 
hosted the first ever India House at the Olympics. India House became a space where we honored our athletes, celebrated our culture, and welcomed the world to India, a home away from home for our athletes and diaspora. It was a showcase of India's art and heritage, tradition and technology, talent and aspiration. Over 16 memorable days, India House welcomed more than 40,000 visitors, almost half of them being international guests. A France television journalist went on to report that if country houses were a category, India House would win a gold. India House is a humble beginning, a small step towards establishing India's firm and formidable presence on the Olympic stage, with the government, private sector, and all citizens backing the unwavering spirit and ability of our youth, nothing can stop India from becoming a truly global sporting powerhouse in the near future. Dear shareholders, education and sport go hand in hand in shaping the future of a nation. I'm a teacher at heart, and working with children has been one of the most enriching experiences of my life. I'm touched and delighted to see my daughter Isha follow that path and find her purpose in the field of education. She is redefining the education landscape in India. This year, she has launched two new path-breaking institutions for primary and early years education. Nita Mukesh Ambani Junior School and Nita Mukesh Ambani Early Years Campus. Truly envisioned as institutions of the future, these schools foster 21st century skills with a focus on pace-based learning where every young learner thrives at their own pace and in their own ways. New Age teaching is about preparing our children for a world that we cannot fully fathom or imagine as yet. And therefore, the focus is on building resilience, collaboration, communication, creativity, compassion, and curiosity. Our vision is to set up international schools with an Indian heart and soul. To make this vision a reality, Reliance Foundation is proud to introduce our flagship teacher training initiative with our soon-to-be-launched school leadership and administration program. Beyond our schools, I'm happy to share that through Reliance Foundation, we aim to provide world-class early childhood care and education for over 10 million children from disadvantaged communities across India. This program aims to build capacity development models and provide learning resources for students and teachers all over India. Our efforts go beyond academic learning to promote complete development, including social emotional skills, critical thinking, and physical well-being. As part of our work with the Integrated Child Development Services, Reliance Foundation developed and refurbished 100 Anganwadis in Varanasi last year. Reliance Foundation is also a proud founding member of Lifted, a multi-partner consortium that aims to strengthen foundational learning for 4 million children in India through a development impact bond and an EdTech accelerator. It is a first-of-its-kind initiative aligned with the government's Nippon Bharat mission that aims to achieve foundational literacy and numeracy for every child in India's primary schools by 2025. We have also partnered with the National Skill Development Corporation to create 100 future-ready courses like cybersecurity, AI, and sustainability, aiming to reach 5 lakh youngsters. Last year, we had announced our commitment to support 50,000 students through the Reliance Foundation Undergraduate 
and postgraduate scholarships over the next 10 years. I am pleased to share that we have already awarded over 10,000 of these scholarships so far. In partnership with GEO, using the power of AI, we plan to work with state governments to digitally extend access and opportunities for students in 2 million schools of India. Mukesh and I are on a mission to enable quality education in our lifetime for 250 million school-going children of our country. India today has the largest number of young people in the world with over 50% of our population under the age of 30. We are committed to empowering this generation to become the driving force of a new, resurgent and unstoppable India, a truly Viksit Bharat. Dosto, Viksit Bharat ka sapna tabhi sach hoga jab hum apne ithiyas ko sanjoyenge, vartaman ko samrit karenge aur bhavishya ko saksham banayenge. Hamare desh ki mahanta ka ek ahem hissa hai hamari kala, sanskriti aur paramparaye. Ab samay a gaya hai ki bhartiya viras immense joy and pride I would now like to talk about an initiative very close to my heart, Swadesh. Swadesh is our tribute to India's diverse cultural heritage and rich artistic legacy. A collective effort to preserve and promote our country's age-old arts and crafts. It all began as an exhibition at the launch of Anita Mukesh Ambani Cultural Center last year and has now become a movement for cultural renaissance. Swadesh highlights the spirit of Make in India and offers respect, sustenance and global recognition to our skilled artisans. India is home to over 4,000 traditional arts and handicrafts and more than 70 lakh craftspeople. They are truly the pride of our country. And yet, unfortunately, due to lack of support, opportunities and livelihoods, many of them were giving up their proud legacy and lineage. That's how Swadesh was envisioned, to give our talented artisans a platform to showcase their skill and craftsmanship to a growing audience, both Indian and international. Apart from setting up stores in India, we now plan to take Swadesh global with the presence in the US and Europe as well. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from Sikkim to Bhuj, the work and voices of our artists and artisans will now be seen and heard not just in India but around the world. Dear shareholders, Beyond art and culture, through our rural transformation initiatives, we have so far touched the lives of over 20 million people by building climate resilience, water conservation, enhanced livelihood, increased productivity and various skilling programs. Another important area of our work is in disaster management. For us, Helping people in times of calamities and distress is our prime. Reliance Foundation teams have always been at the forefront, offering support and assistance to our fellow citizens in those hours of need. Recently, after the tragic landslides in Vayanad, volunteers of Reliance Foundation rushed to provide relief and rehabilitation. Our teams on the ground are supporting immediate response and recovery as well as long-term requirements for the people of the district such as providing food, water and essential amenities, providing sanitation and hygiene, providing training for sustainable livelihoods, providing support for education, ensuring reliable digital connectivity through Reliance Geo and enabling psychosocial support and community healing 
by trained counselors, especially for children and youth as they slowly rebuild their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, this year, our Sir H.N. Reliance Foundation Hospital completes 10 years. Over the past decade, we have been guided by a philosophy of respect for life. For us, every life is precious. I am especially moved by a hospital's advanced care for children. Out of the 10 lakh patients whose lives we touched last year, 10,000 were children. Our hospital carried out more than 550 complex pediatric surgeries of neonates and infants, not just from Mumbai, but all over the country. As we look ahead, we are committed to building additional capacity and using innovation, AI, and world-class medical professionals to provide affordable and top-quality healthcare to every Indian. Friends,